Hello everyone, I'm Francesca. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I have three amazing 30 minute vegan meals for you all. They are easy to make, they're delicious. You're gonna get multiple servings. You can use them for breakfast, lunch, dinner. Well, actually, okay, fine. Two of them are more lunch and dinner. One's more breakfasty, but they're really delicious. They are really easy to make and they're gonna be great for you, for your families, and you're just gonna love them. As always, the full run out recipes are on my blog. There's a link in the description box down below for that. I also write all the ingredients in the description box down below and you can find links for products you might need other social media, anything you want to know is in the description box. So be sure to check it out. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here. And as always, if you like my videos, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff helps channel out, helps us to grow and spread more vegan recipes. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being here and let's go make these 30 minute meals. We're gonna start off by taking half a block of extra firm tofu. I didn't press this, you don't need to. Just use your hands to crumble it up. This is gonna make like a substitute taco meat kind of thing. Then from there, we're gonna take some seasoning. So I have salt, taco seasoning, cumin, and garlic powder. And I'm just going to add this to the tofu, going to give it lots of wonderful, nice flavor. And of course you can add in any seasonings you like, but since these are 30 minute meals, I tried to keep everything pretty simple with the seasonings. So I have five tortillas here. Use any tortillas you like. If you're gluten-free, then use a corn tortilla or brown rice tortilla. I have some refried beans. These are the one from Trader Joe's. And then I have some vegan cheddar and vegan mozzarella. We're gonna take one tortilla and we're just going to scoop some of our beans on there and spread it across the bottom and just always be sure to check your refried beans sometimes they are not vegan friendly they can contain lard but these trader joe's ones are great then we're going to add some of our vegan cheese on there i like to add a mix if you just want to use one kind whatever you want then of course our tofu and that's it you're just going to fold it over and our little quesadilla is done so you're just going to repeat this five times until you've made them all of course you can add in any other things that you like, but I just really wanted to keep this simple for keeping within the 30 minute time constraint. I'm gonna take my hands and really press it down just to make sure it's kind of sealed up well. And then we're gonna generously coat it with some spray oil on both sides. And then we're gonna pop it onto a pan. And then we're gonna place those in the oven at 375 for 15 minutes. And that's it. Put them in there. After 15 minutes, you're gonna take them out and then you're gonna flip them and then we're gonna pop them in again for another three to five minutes. While those are in the oven, we're gonna make our pico de gallo. So I have some tomato that I chopped up, some green onion, some jalapeno. This was a very spicy jalapeno and some onion. And we're gonna mix this up. I'm adding some lemon juice because I didn't have any limes, but use the limes if you like. And then of course you could add cilantro if you like. I just feel like it tastes like soap, so I don't add mine to it. And then we're gonna add some salt and that's it. Mix it up and it's really delicious. The jalapeno does make it spicy. So if you wanna add less jalapeno, if you just wanna leave it out, whatever you like to do to your own preferences in your own house. Then when the quesadillas are all done, they'll look like this. They're nice and crispy on both sides, like golden brown, they look beautiful. Let's cut one in half and see what it looks like on the inside because that's the best part. What's on the inside is what counts, right? So now we're ready to plate these up. So I cut all the quesadillas in half and then I just put it on a serving platter with the pico de gallo and some vegan sour cream. And then I put some green onion on top and that's it. This is so easy to make. If I were serving this for a bunch of people, I would maybe add some like rice on the side, some extra beans if you want. And you have a super easy dinner that didn't take much effort and it's so good. And it is so easy to make the quesadillas this way. You're going to take one yellow potato, pop that in the microwave for like a minute and 30 seconds. In the meantime, I'm gonna cut up some squash. These are called patty pan squash. Are they not the cutest things ever? They're so fun. But you can of course just use zucchini and really use any vegetables that you like. I'm popping those in a baking pan and then I have some tomatoes. These are from my garden, they were so good. So I cooked the potato a little already in the microwave so it already got a head start. We're gonna chop it up. Just be careful, it may be a little hot inside. We're gonna add some oil on top of here. I'm using olive oil, use any oil that you like. And then we're gonna add a bunch of seasonings i'm keeping it pretty simple i'm just using onion powder some garlic powder then we're going to go in with some paprika i just love the color that it gives we're going to do a little bit of red pepper flakes because i love heat and some salt add any seasonings you like give these a shake and these are going to go in the oven at 425 425 minutes in the meantime we're going to add some vegan butter into a pan this is frozen quinoa it makes it cook so much quicker but you can also use a pre-cooked quinoa if you have and then we're going to crumble our extra firm tofu into a 
the pan, that's it. Move this all around, mix it all around, and just let everything get warmed up. Add in some nutritional yeast, and then I'm gonna add in the same exact seasonings because I just want to keep it easy. But again, you can change the seasonings in that you like. If you wanna add some turmeric to this, if you wanna add black salt, if, whatever you like to add to it. Just let it cook until it warms up, and it takes about like five to seven minutes over medium heat. It'll look like this, and I had something like this while I was away this summer. It was just a quinoa tofu scramble, and it was so good. I love what the quinoa does here. Our veggies are all done and the potatoes are cooked through. Make sure to chop your veggies up pretty small so they cook quicker. Onto a plate or a bowl, we're gonna add some baby kale for some fresh greens. Then we're gonna add in the veggies and our scramble. Add a little bit of basil for garnish and that's it. You can add this with some pesto or if you wanna do like vegan ranch or if you wanna just put a little dressing on top of the baby kale, whatever you like to do. But it is so flavorful, it's so delicious. I enjoyed it for breakfast and those roasted veggies, I don't know if it was just because those tomatoes were so good, are just, they're so, so delicious. You gotta try this, you're gonna love it. And it's also great for meal prep too. For our last dish, we're gonna start off by taking some vegan chicken. This is from the Like Meat, they're the buffalo wings, and I wanted to use them, so I'm just gonna pop them in my little baking dish, and I'm gonna cook them according to package directions. Use any vegan chicken that you like for this. I'm using the Heart of Palm pasta for this, actually, so there's not even any real pasta in it, it's just Heart of Palm pasta. This stuff is great because it cooks up super quickly, you're getting an extra veggie in, and it's really awesome. But of course, you can use any pasta that you like in here. We're gonna add in some spinach and some frozen broccoli, or you can use fresh broccoli, whatever, you have on hand whatever you like and add any other veggies in that you want to this you can add in a little bit of water too let it cook up for a few minutes like let everything start to kind of warm up then we're going to add some tomato sauce on top of here and we're going to mix it all around you can add any seasonings you want in here i added some red pepper flakes and some salt feel free to again just add what you like customize these you know and if you have 35 minutes to cook you can add a little extra you know do what you like to do so at this point our vegan chicken is now done and i'm just going to cut it into nice little tiny pieces if you don't want to use a vegan chicken, I cover substitutes in the blog post, so you could always check that out. And like I said, I'm using the like meat buffalo wings. I just didn't put the sauce on them. So I chopped that all up and that's gonna go straight on top of our pasta and we're going to put that on. Then I'm gonna add some vegan Parmesan. This is the one from Whole Foods, the 365 brand. Some vegan mozzarella. This is the Violife mozzarella shreds. Pop a cover on there for a few minutes and let the, everything just melt up and it'll look like this when it's all done. Again, super easy, super delicious. I would probably pair this with like a side salad and maybe some bread or if you wanted to get really fancy and make like garlic bread or something and add some extra red pepper flakes on top because I like it and a little basil just to really fancify it up yeah I just made that word up I think fancify maybe that's a real word <laughs> and that is it easy delicious and just another great meal for dinner also great for meal preps I enjoyed this the next day and like I said if you don't want to use the heart of palm pasta you definitely don't have to I do just love it because it cooks up so much quicker and yeah thank you all so much for watching thank you so much for being here if you enjoyed these recipes please be sure to like comment subscribe and I will see you guys on Wednesday with another video bye